Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be using the Circuit Playground Express, as you can see here, this one right here. And we're going to be learning how to control and move this servo. And this is the one I'm going to be using today. So this is the servo I'm using. And as you can see, it has three different wires. So the brown one, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure you guys will in the comments. If, but anyways, as you can see, here's the brown one, which is ground. And the red one, which is positive. And then the orange one, which is a signal. Okay. So to start off, we're gonna connect a um, on each one of these wires. I was I was looking to see if I if I had any, but I couldn't find any. Um, one with an alligator clip on one side, and then one with this on the other side. Let's see if you can see it right here. Yeah, not just one full, not with both sides with the alligator clips. And I couldn't find any, so I'm gonna have to improvise and use this with this and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do this but if you guys can get one with an alligator clip on one side and one with on this side then that's that would work perfect and that's exactly what I'm um, works best to be honest okay so first let me get one I had one right here okay so I'm gonna go with the red and I'm gonna put the red one with the red one in here okay and then I'm gonna go with black for ground and of course that's, there we go and then I'm gonna use let's see orange for that yellow orange looking one there we go so we have three and then we're gonna go ahead and use these alligator clips now I'm gonna go with red with red black with the black one and then so I have an orange one I'm gonna go with the yellow on this one the orange one all right so as you can see it's connected here, here it is and now we're gonna connect it to this so the black one's gonna go to, we're gonna, we're gonna connect it to this. So the black one's gonna go to ground, right here. This, there's a couple grounds, but GND sounds for ground right there. And then, then the positive red one, it goes to the 3.3 volts right here. And then I'm gonna connect this yellow one is the signal to A to A2 right here okay so after this is all set now um, you just connect this to your laptop um, you open up make code and you build the code up from there and I'll show you how the code looks like I'll put a picture up so you can see in, um, my code and you can duplicate it okay so this is my code as you can see I'm button A it's going 175 degrees and on button B it's turning one degree and I have for button A and B it's um, repeating twice basically the same thing 175 
and then to one degree again. Um, one thing I noticed, like when I was starting this code, when I just had one button, which is button A, at 175 degrees, and it was weird because when I would press it, nothing was happening, but I can hear the motor running. And I, I'm guessing it's because maybe it was already at 175 degrees, because when I added the other button and I pressed it, it actually started moving. So make sure you have both so you can see which direction and which degree is already at and because that can solve a big problem for you because I just thought something was wrong with the whole system but it was just that so yeah that's my code all right so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this so the USB is connected to my laptop and then this goes in here Oh yeah, so now it's ready. Um, one more thing I forgot to mention, um, I moved this one to A1. It was over here A2 and I moved it to A1 because my code is all, was already in A1, so that's the only thing I changed. All right, so I toss that. Let me show you how it works. So when you press A button, it moves to that side. And when you press the other button, when you press the B button, it moves to the other side. And then when you press both at the same time, it should do it two times. And there you go. So that's the end of my video. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.